All right, so welcome back to the mod of Redemption. Today is a very special day, and that's because we have so many exciting things to be working on. First off, we have that boss fight against the Holy Priest. We have this card thing, which leads to a mystery. We've got to explore the ice biome and look for, like, flurry boots. Yeah, it's an action-packed one. It's going to be a wild ride, but bear with me, because as per tradition... I'm quite tired. Yeah, I'm quite tired today. I am. I'll admit it. I'll be the first to uh, throw up a hand and say I want to go back to bed. But yeah, um, will that affect things? Probably not. So what do we start with first? Well, we did get a message from the mod creator slash developer slash mastermind uh, innovator. Uh, and it did say, if you hold the empty crooks card in your hand while underground, Something will appear to guide you to a structure, which will be around the cavern layer below spawn. Okay, I think we start with that, and then we'll work our way to the Holy Priest. Because I asked you lot in the last video, uh, should we do it? Everyone was just like, yeah, just do it, just do it. And do you know what I did with those comments from you lot? I took them to a printer, I printed them out, I had them uh, bound, okay? I had them... Um, I can't remember the name. You know where I'm going with this. I read books. That's right. <laughs> That's what I've meant the whole time. It's a collection of comments. I've made an anthology. Half of them uh, say first. Um, so this card then. <laughs> Empty Crooks card. A container for friendly spirits to aid you. Okay, right. Let's just hold it. Let's see what happens. But yeah, my uh, new laptop arrived. It's uh, it's awesome. Uh, I was having a, a bit of a blast with that yesterday. Uh, and this is very old school. If you've been on the channel a while, you'll know. Um, we didn't make a video yesterday because I was doing something for uh, Chippy Gaming. I made that Stardew Valley news video. So yeah, if you are new around here and you don't know how it works, essentially, if there's a video on the main channel, that probably means I won't upload here for the day. I don't want to, like, compete with myself on YouTube. What a strange scenario to be in. But there's been many a day where that has been the case. Like, you know, <laughs> who's like, oh, do you know what? I'll take a double portion of Chippy today, please. Well, maybe if you're a takeaway, but not here, right? Um, yeah, I can feel the exhaustion setting in. Um, and it's not good. Okay, so you're the you're the person that's gonna guide me to my structure, alright. Hopefully you're better than a theory. <laughs> it just takes me to where I've already been. No? Oh wait, it's because I, I held out a torch. So do I, I think I need to directly hold it in my hand, otherwise, yeah, this ghostly apparition will disappear. But why am I tired? It's not like I've done anything, like, particularly interesting. Um, I just didn't sleep great. Again. I don't know why. This has been a recurring thing for about a week now. It's doing me in. Like, I can't believe it. I go to bed at a nice normal time. And sure what's happening to me, right? I go to bed at half ten. Half two in the morning, I'm awake. I'm wide awake. And it's not a great position to be in, to just be wide awake at half two. So I'm like, right, what do I do? And I usually, you shouldn't really, but I open my phone, I put like an AirPod in, I put on a podcast, and I fall back asleep. That works for me. But still, the cycle is annoying. Today, I got to quarter to seven. Like, I just woke up. It was like half six, right? Got to quarter to seven. I was like, I'm getting up. I, I can't stay in bed. My my mind is racing. I don't know what it is. I think it's because I'm, I'm, I'm back into my YouTube in the sense of like, I am all go, right? I am loving this channel. I am planning out videos on the main channel. I'm excited. I feel like it's my enthusiasm that's not letting me sleep. But that being said, I want some sleep, so, you know, it's not, it's not great. It's not a great combo, but I'm fine. I mean, it's, that's more sleep than some people get. In reality, I, I probably, I should probably say I'm lucky, if I'm being real. Now, if Red wasn't joking around and we actually do get some Terraria news, we are due a Terraria state of the game, and he did say it would be on February 29th, that does mean that there likely won't be a video tomorrow. So just, like, letting you all know. I'll probably record one in the morning because, like, it, this is now part of my routine. Um, but I, I won't put it out until Friday. Is that how the days of the week work? Is that where we're at already? Um, do you remember how the other day I was talking about the fact that I've got this busy week and I need to go hand in the, the keys to my office and all that? Haven't done it. Haven't done it at all. I haven't even been. 
I need to go and clear that place out, all right? Thank God there are 29 days in February this year. Otherwise, it's not looking good for me. Do I do it tonight? Maybe. I might do it tonight. I feel like that might be my best chance. At least I should go and dismantle some furniture. Like I say, it's got a lot of stuff in there. There is a desk. There is a chair. There's a computer. There's microphones. There's cameras. Like, I went all out with this room. This room was like... It was good, to be fair. Like, I did have high intentions for it. And like I say, I got to make one or two good things in there. It's not anything major. N not as much as I wanted to make. Anyway, it's got to be dismantled. It's got to be packed up. It's got to be brought to my garage. Some of the stuff that I did get for it, tech-wise, though, I'm, I'm quite excited because I have um, in my YouTube setup right now at home a couple of items that are, like, quite old and they're a bit haggard and I can tell they're on their way out. Like, my um, my microphone amp. I'm not, a, I'm not a tech mic person, but you know what I'm talking about, right? The, the thing that powers the mic, you know what I'm on about. Well, the company that makes it have fired everybody. So the software updates are gone. <laughs> I don't know how long it's got left, but in the new place, I have a new amp. So I'm just going to use that one. Um, you know, so it's all it's all getting repurposed some way. For example, in the new place, I got a pair of headphones because I was like, oh, I need headphones to, you know, listen to sounds and to edit and whatnot while I'm there. And I only own one pair of headphones. Well, the pair of headphones that I have right now in my house are awful and I've replaced the ear cups about 10 times. Uh, they are on their last legs. Uh, I don't even have the proper charging cable for them anymore. I've had these headphones for like, I think it's about 10 years. It is about 10 years. Well, anyway, when I move everything across, no longer, all right? I'll have good headphones and maybe then I'll mix the audio a little bit better. <laughs> so yeah, this is cool though. Oh, is this where we were meant to be brought? Is it? No? You're still going. Oh, right, okay. For a second I was like, have I, have I just missed the fact that this is all meant to be new? This area does look cool though. All of these structures look cool. This is why I'm excited. This is why I can't sleep, Mod of Redemption. You've done this. By having beautiful tiles. Ah, okay. It's a mysterious gate. It's a portal. Wow. Even more beautiful tiles. Let's go. Now, this is cool, right? It's uh, kind of similar in design to the one that we saw on the surface, I guess. Um, and that's where my expertise and commentary goes. That is, is as far as I can say about that. Um, this whole area does have stuff to it. Like, this is like another one of those little biomes. That's quite cute. Um, we should be destroying that. Let's get some of this as well. Wedding ring. Oh, no way. So we don't even have to, to craft one now. That is class. That's for the uh, the boss that I mentioned in the last video. Um, cool. Very exciting. So, <laughs> okay. What do we do with this then? I don't know. Do I jump in? Do I leave it? <laughs> I don't know. Mod of redemption, please. I don't think you realize how smooth brained I am today. But for real though, what, what am I meant to do with this? <laughs> I actually genuinely don't know. I'm going to hold this out and see what happens. Will the ghostly apparition say anything or do anything? Dead ringer calls upon the spirit of corpses. I also got another one of the crooks cards. We got some more alloy. Interesting. Is that what I'm meant to do then? Am I meant to call upon the spirits? while potentially next to the portal. Maybe. We will see. We will see. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, okay. So I meant to use that on the, the tile. So I'm going to right click. No. Um. Okay, right. <laughs> Bear with me, everyone. I will figure this out. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so you have to right click while holding it. That makes a lot of sense. What? is this hold spirit walker ability key for one second to peek into the spirit realm what modern redemption you're too fancy you are too fancy um <laughs> what is going on this is so cool all right uh okay i'll do mouse five let's see okay i'm, I'm pressing mouse five whoa look at this 
This is so cool. So do I do anything with this? Do I right click again? No, that seems, oh no, wait. Hey, you all right? Great, you figured out how to call me. I hope you take your fancy to my gift. I'm a, let's just say, a spiritual enthusiast. Oh, okay, all right. Um, spirit walking. The ability given to you gives you a peek into the spirit realm, a realm parallel to our own. Normally, neither realm can see nor interact with each other. You'll be able to hurt spirits with any method or find corpses to use that bell ring a majig on while peeking such as mine. Another thing we spirits can gift to you our crooks if you have something to imbue in it. Uh, just request it while spirit walking. Cool. This is sick. Dead ringer. A nifty artifact of Gartham. Gatharam? Gatharam, that is. Using it on corpses will force their spirit back to their location while tugging them out of the spirit realm attacked which is why you can see me now even though you stopped spirit walking despite me being a fully fledged spirit, not one of those vagrants or lost souls. When folk die, their soul leaves their body to find another during the pilgrimage. They're still connected to the physical world, meaning some of the arcane eye may see them. If a lost soul wanders too long, they can seep out of the spirit realm and become vagrant spirits. Poor things forever lost. Wow. I once met another spirit in a mind-boggling location. It fell out of this world. The walls were white, pipes with green fluid hung from the ceilings, strange blue lights emitted from metal boxes and tubes, and the spirit I saw was most intriguing. He just kept repeating about alarms and wore a strange white and blue suit. Very odd. Okay, so I'm guessing this factors into something in the laboratory later on. Like I said, I've been a spirit so long that I forgot my own name, yet I still remember most other things about me. Strange that, I'm from Gafaram. The portal behind me leads to the catacombs of Gafaram and is how the undead and skeleton folk came here. Doesn't seem like you can enter through though. So that's it, right? Oh no, there we go, we got the crux. Bravo, I have infused your card with the spirits of two skeletons. Use some souls to summon them. They'll assist you in battle or make nice company if you're feeling lonely. They do have a mind of their own, so if they scurry off somewhere, use the card to tug their souls back. Keep in mind other spirits may wish for something in return for these. Cool, 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 cool. That is really sick. That was awesome. <laughs> that was amazing. Um, so what did we get then? Uh, we got the Crooks card, Bone Duo. 108 base health, 18 summon damage, summons the spirits of two Epitador... Uh, I can read, and I read books. Um, skeletons, right click to tuck the spirits back to your position, consuming one, and it also consumes six on use. I don't know what that little one thing is. Spirits? I'm assuming spirits. I think we need to... You see the little wanderers? I think that's what they were called, right? I think we kill those, we get spirits, and then spirits is like a currency. These vagrant spirits. So while we are in this mode, where we have this thing on, isn't it then possible that we can kill these wandering spirits? Is that right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Now, there are holy weapons out there that would let us do this as well. Now, I believe somebody left me a comment that was like, oh, the um, Star Fury, which you get from a Sky Island, vanilla weapon, you all know. But somebody was like, oh, that's like one of those weapons that do it. I don't want to grab that yet because I don't want to overpower myself. So, um, so yeah. All right. Cool. So, what do we do now? Do we... What button was it? Okay. You click this one. Oh, no, wait. You hold it. And there we go. Very, very cool. Wow, that was a lot. <laughs> that was like a proper segment. <laughs> that was like a whole thing. Wow. Mod of redemption. Let me tell you. You knew anyway. But I am, I don't know. I'm very proud of you. All right. Pat on the back for that one. That was cool. So, theoretically then, we can use this as well and make something else 
further down the line, right? Uh, cool. All right. So I'm going to put that away. Now, the next thing I want to work on, the next thing I want to work on is the golden chicken or the, the chicken summon or just chickens in general. All right. I got a real passion for these chickens. I'm saying golden chicken because it's gold you use, isn't it? It's like gold and eggs. I want to make sure we get this done because this is meant to be done before the Eye of Cthulhu, apparently. Uh, egg crown. So you need five chicken eggs and any gold bars. All right. Now, here's the thing. And I don't want to seem like a fake fan here. All right. And this might be a little bit disappointing to some of you. But to some of you, it might be like, oh, that's that's an exciting twist. Um, I can't remember much about any of the chicken stuff in this mod. And I know that that's really... It's strange, right? Because all those years ago, it was the highlight and the center point of the whole series. I don't remember it. I, do you know what? I, I don't know why. I mean, it is what it is, right? I think it's because, you know, I make these videos. I edit them up. I upload them. And then I make like a thousand more and it just seeps out of my brain. So I can't remember all the chicken related stuff. I just know there's a lot of chicken stuff. So I'm quite excited for this. So now we need to wait around for a chicken because I want to get some more eggs. There was a thing we could do with chickens, right? There was like a... Didn't we get like a tip that was like, oh, if you want more eggs, you use invisibility potions or something like that. What happens if we use our ability here next to this pole? Okay, nothing, nothing happens. I'm going to be keeping an eye out for this though because I feel like this is going to be the big thing. And obviously, it's hinting at something in the laboratory. We've got to make sure we use it there. Oh, so having a little look on the wiki, apparently, I can make a, an item called a chicken coop, uh, which means we need to get two chickens, some hay, and some wood. Now, considering the fact that chickens don't seem to be that common, we're doing it, all right? We're doing it. Um, let me grab the sickle then. I had to really think about that. I was like, how do you get hay in Terraria? I'm so certain it's running a sickle across the, the ground, right? Yeah, okay, good. Good, good, good. All right, so here we go. Here's our chicken coop, which will apparently start giving us eggs. Now, I'm really sorry for the jump cut. I didn't, uh, you know, I didn't get to show crafting it. I got a phone call. So I was like on the phone and I was like doing a bit of the chicken coop stuff. But yeah, I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'll jump cut it. Uh, we do have uh, two extra chickens here. Um, do they make anything else other than coops? Um, let's see. So they can make chicken soup. <gasps> Waiter, uh, there's a beak in my soup. Did I did I tell you all about my my gift from my mom for my birthday? <laughs> it's the most random thing, and she was so nervous to give me it because she was like, "Oh, is he even gonna like it?" Right? A soup maker. I was gifted a soup maker. And do you know what? I've never heard of a soup maker in my life, but I actually adore it. It's so handy. I've used it so much since uh, it got gifted to me. It it makes soup. <laughs> it just, it sounds so simple and definitely only, only relatable at a certain point in life, let me tell you. But when you get a soup maker, you'll understand. You, <laughs> you chop your veg, all right? You bang it in the soup maker. Little bit of stock, all right? You click the soup button. You come back in 30 minutes. What do you have? You got a bowl of soup. <laughs> it's so funny. But, like, I find making soup really annoying. I've never expressed it to a single person in my life. That's how you know your mum's your mum, you know? But I do. I can't be bothered to, like, let some soup cook downstairs. Oh, it's like Cthulhu. So this machine, it does it all. Now, I tell you what, these chickens, they're working overtime. They're doing good for us. Look how many eggs we already have. 19. That's right. If this ends up being like, you know, a highly profitable event, all right, we're in the money. Um, <laughs> Let's go do this. Gosh, what an energy today. What an energy. Uh, summons a regal rooster. Only usable at day. This is, I don't know, <laughs> just right on the edge of like, what a delirium of a, of a recording. Begin. Let's see. Oh, oh my gosh. What? <laughs> oh, come on now. There's, there's no way the chicken looked like that last time I played. There's no way. I would have never have given, like, I would never have stopped playing the mod every single day. 
Wow. <laughs> oh, this is the best thing I've ever seen. Look at you go. Look at you go. Oh, I can't kill it. Please give me a chance to save it. All right, let's uh, let's try our summon out then. This is exciting. Come on. Come on, skeleton. Do your thing. This is not what you signed up for, is it? When you clicked on this video, you didn't know you were about to watch a chicken get mauled by a skeleton. Oh my gosh. It's got a runaway animation. Oh, this is the best day of my life. It's got minions. Oh, this is, this is just too much. This is too much. Who even needs sleep when you've got a dopamine hit like this? Oh gosh, they've got little hats. They have little hats, everyone, please. All right, stand at attention. This is your moment to cheer. Oh my God, this is just, this is too much. So these egg crackers are actually, uh, oh, oh, okay, right. It stuns the boss. Oh my gosh, what is this? What is this? Wow, okay, that's amazing. It had a, a special trick up its sleeve. No, nope, you get back here. You get back here. I'll be hitting you. <laughs> I'm going to stun him. I'm waiting for it. There we go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, it's the greatest day of my life. Everything's peaked from here. Children? Nah. Marriage? Nah. I just killed uh, the foul emperor. Um, <laughs> what was that? Our alignment's still two. Our alignment is still two. Uh, foul war horn consumable calls upon the foul morning only usable before midday. Right, right. There's law to this. There's law to this. Okay, it is still before midday, so we're gonna we're gonna spawn it in. Wave one. There are multiple waves. That's right, everyone. There are multiple waves. We've got plenty of chickens to kill today. I might not even get around to the priest. <laughs> I went into this thinking this was the priest episode. No, no, no. But yeah, apparently somebody did say, oh, make sure you do the chicken stuff early because all the stuff kind of gets a little bit redundant by uh, the Eye of Cthulhu. I think, that was, I think that's what was said. I may have said that earlier in the recording. It is one of those days. Straight after this, you know what I'm making? Espresso. That's right. I've got a full espresso set up and I'm not afraid to use it. Let's get rid of these ones up here. These are the bomber chickens. Oh gosh, it's so good. It is so good. I love it. I love it. This mod is this mod is absolutely peaked at this point. And we're so early in. We're so early in and this mod is like absolutely shining. It really is. But I don't remember it being this good at all. Like it was good. Don't get me wrong. Our original playthrough. Like I, I came away with a big smile, you know? A big smile and a happy memory. But I don't know. It wasn't this. So I wonder how many waves it's got. I reckon around five. Five? Does that seem normal? Or is it going to be around ten? <laughs> oh god, our elf's low again. I'm I'm almost like, I'm just seeing chickens and I'm going like uh, health blind. Because I'm like, oh, no, I'm fine. They're just chickens. Oh, what are you talking about? Wave four. Oh, there's scratches. There's haymakers. There's rooster boosters. <laughs> what is this? So we got these uh, egg bombs here. 28 range damage. Okay. Uh, go on then. Oh my god, they're beastie. They're like uh, the equivalent of like doing the goblin invasion and getting the spiky balls. <laughs> it's just like there's something to defeat your enemies. All right, unfortunately, we don't have enough souls to, to bring our skeletons back, but the skeletons were cool. I didn't really get the chance to comment on them. They were interesting. It's quite neat having a summon that can die. So what's the what's the weapon? Oh, it's a melee weapon. The Halberd House. Okay, cool. What's it say? After every third hit, the following thrust will fire an additional damaging egg. Oh, great. Awesome. This is sick. I kind of forget that we have auto swing. Um, so we could have used that. You know when you wake from a dream and you're like half awake and you're in that stage where you're like, was the dream real? Like, did I really like, did I forget to do my maths revision? I don't know, right? That's, <laughs> that, that hits me at least once a year in my dreams. Um, that's what this feels like. Also, I left school 10 years ago. I'm 27, all right? Even longer than that. So, you know, just, just keep that in mind about the fact that I still get nervous about not revising for my GCSEs. Oh my gosh, this is mental. All right, there we go. So we got the Foul Feather, which is a pet. It's a master mode pet. 
Oh my gosh. Let's go. What is that? What is that? <laughs> They're evolving. They are evolving. Leave me be. Leave me be. I need to bring the bow back. <laughs> I've got no chance otherwise. Oh my gosh. It's a full on boss. I'd heard rumors that they dialed back the chicken, right? No, they haven't at all. Oh my gosh. The sniping chickens as well. Like, it's not an easy... <laughs> oh yeah, they can fly. Awesome. I would love to be able to, to finish up this flaming chicken today. Which is not a special uh, off-the-menu um, item at KFC. I just, just want to clarify, alright? Oh my god. Are you gonna... No, it despawned. And rightly so, in reality, right? The fact it also just, like, has a soundtrack as well. Like, what's the story behind that? Like, hey, hey, musician, what you got cooking here? We need something finger-licking good, all right? Oh, my God. I can't, I can't beat it. I can't beat it. I, I, I've, I've, honestly, I've been bested by this. I feel like we need to get stronger. That's what we'll do tomorrow. We're going to come back. We're going to be strong. It's an event that lasts a whole day. Oh, my. Well, that was, let me just say, incredible. And potentially one of the best things I've ever done in my, my whole life. And I, and I really do believe that. That was so sick. That was awesome. You thought the mod was good before? No, no, no. All right? You have not fought a big flaming chicken. Well, there we go, right? There we go. So I think tomorrow what we'll do is... Oh, look at this. Eggshell. Equipable. Two defense. Decreases knockback that the user receives... When below 25% uh, percent health, you will completely ignore knockback. That is a sick accessory. Um, so yeah, I think tomorrow we'll go exploring. We'll get upgrading. And then when we're strong enough to defeat the chickens, then we know we're ready for the priest. But yeah, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And, uh, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.